I'm down visiting my daughter and her confederate roses are about to start blooming very shortly. They're just covered in blooms this year. All over the place. The original tree-like part has died and it came back from the roots. They got cold enough to freeze out. They are huge. Mine don't have blooms on them yet, but mine froze back to the ground as well. But hers will be budding out very shortly. It's going to be quite a sight to see this year. Here's the strawberry plants I brought her that haven't been planted yet. And the Altheas, they're not doing so well. Her other plants could use a little plant food, some nitrogen I think. It's her catnip and her basil and some cilantro. Yeah, they need a little help there. There's her tomato plants. Started at the same time that mine were. They're not doing as well. They need some... I think the whole bed needs some nitrogen. I think it's lacking. See how yellow they are? This is her broccoli bed that I did the starts on. And she has some broccoli heads growing. They're just starting to get going. That one doesn't have one yet. That one over there does. Yeah. She has a lot of yellow squash. I went shopping for my birthday gifts to myself at um, Buchanan's Nursery. And uh, these are some of the things that I bought myself. I didn't buy this guy. I bought another one like him, but bigger. He was like this tall, much taller. This is the one that I had cut, and I gave the one I bought yesterday to my daughter for her to plant in the shade. It's the Persian Shield, but this is the one that I had originally bought for her, and I cut the top out, and I planted him over there. This is not doing as well as I'd hoped. <laughs> so, um... I kept this one and gave her the new one. So I bought 11 plants yesterday for $35. That's the gross total. And they gave me $10 off for my birthday, so it came out to $25. One of the 11 plants that I bought was a Persian Shield, which I gave to her. And I'm going to plant this one here because it seems to have stunted him somewhat. I mean, he is getting bushier, but. I don't know if I actually have a picture of the one that I gave to her. If I do, I'll put it in here, right about here. But anyway, of the 11 that I am now planting for myself, one of them is this Persian Shield. This one is a Mystic Spires Blue Salvia. And I think he's going to be beautiful. Most salvias are sun plants. You can put them in partial shade, but in order to get a good amount of blooms, you really need to put them in the sun. These I'm going to put on to soak, and I will actually plant them tomorrow. This one is a Ravina. He is another perennial that I bought for the garden. I'm very happy with my purchases yesterday. I also got very much sunburned because <laughs> it took me a long time to go through and pick what I wanted. This one is a moody blue, blue eyed grass. Yeah. I'm trying to get different things. I'm not buying a bunch of the same stuff. I want a lot of different things into my garden. This one is a marl berry, and he goes in the shade, and he will help to feed the birds. I spent some time in their shade department. They have a whole area. It's not like when you go to Walmart and everything's thrown out there. 
either on their patio or outside in the sun. They actually put things in the shade that are shade plants and things that are sun plants go out in the sun. And these are, this is really heavy, it's well watered. I'm very pleased with how they water their plants. It's not like when I go to Walmart at all. And I like the diversity of the plants at Buchanan's. I mean, you can find something. It, it would be hard to go in there and not buy. And that is another reason why I bought 11 plants. I'm done after this. <laughs> I know I say that all the time, but I'm not going back to Buchanan's for a long time. Not because I don't love them, but because I do love them. And I, I'm out of beds. I don't have any more beds to put things in. In fact, I'm going to be mulching this stuff right here. I'm going to be mulching these limbs. And they're going to go into the bottom of pots that are there and pots that are over there. And I'm going to just uh, pot all these plants. They're not gonna go into the garden beds. I don't know how to pronounce a lot of this stuff. It looks like it's Agastashi Blue Fortune. Isn't he beautiful? Yeah. I'm putting them in the pots because I don't want to go back and buy this fall. I want to buy now and put them in pots. And this fall when that uh, wild evening primrose is done, I'm not going to let it go to seed there. I'm going to cut the flower so that it doesn't go to seed because it's a biennial. It's only good for two years. And then I can remove the plants that are there and I can put these into that place. And I'm going to be moving the canna lilies out of that same corner. This one is a black and blue salvia. Yeah, I'm excited I did buy some salvias this go round. This guy is a yellow buttercup ternera. I love yellow. <laughs> it's one of my favorite colors. I don't have a favorite color, I, but I do enjoy yellow. But aren't they beautiful plants? For only $3, no plant here is more than $3, $2.99. This guy is a Wendy's Wish Salvia. Isn't he gorgeous? Look at that. Very magical, very Peter Pan. That's what I think of when I hear Wendy's Wish. This one is a sal salvia fucana, and uh, yeah, I looked him up. Some of the stuff here, I know he looks, some of the stuff looks really small now, but the smallest thing, once it gets to full height, is going to be one foot tall and a foot wide, but there are some things in here that are going to go to five foot tall. This marlberry could actually eventually grow to be 15 foot tall, possibly. Yeah. So, <laughs> this is going to fill what's, what's left of my garden. Next year, I don't really anticipate putting much in the way of annuals into the garden. It's going to be filled with all of these perennials. This is a summer jewel white salvia. Summer jewel white salvia. This one and the moody blue are going to be the smallest ones in the bunch. They're only going to be one foot by one foot when they're finished growing to full height. So there's all my plants that I bought, 11 of them in total. 
and the Persian Shield, which is the 11th one. I bought one, but I gave the other one to my daughter, and I'm going to plant the one that I gave to her originally. So, I'm excited. Aren't you excited? They're going to go into pots for now. I love walking out here and seeing the wildlife in my garden. I guess I should plant a few annuals, like that particular one that they're on right now is an annual. Right now it's on a perennial. Look, my zinnias! Hey look, they've recovered from where I had to spray them. There's still a little bit more fungus going on. I guess I'll have to spray them one more time. But everything from there down to there and around the corner will be coming out at the end of summer. Well, that's the plan anyway. I don't know, those cannas look pretty happy there, don't they? They're going to get much taller by the end of the summer, though. Garden is starting to come along. Oh, it's already blooming. <laughs> He's very prolific seed spreader. I promise you. It's a wild evening primrose. I have to be careful out here. The ants have been horrible. I really need to spray again. See, I sprayed that mound and they moved over just a foot or so. These are the previous ones that I bought. You see, they're getting much bigger. That's the one I gave $3.99 for you. And he is really starting to spread out and grow. Those are salvias. And that's the plant that I bought from Vanny. Looks like some of my tomatoes are starting to get almost right. I don't know if you can see them in there. The little pear tomatoes will be yellow. I gotta get those plants on to soaking so that I can plant them out tomorrow. I did come out here and put some wire along this bed. See, to help hold the stuff inside, keep it from falling out. Use some of that green coated wire from the dollar store. My beans are starting to come up along with some more four o'clocks. Those on to soaking. There that is soaking. We have some rain coming. I'm hoping to get it planted right after the rains come and go. Because I believe in soaking the pots and then putting it into wet ground. Bunch of lemon cucumbers ready to be plicked. So there's my first collection of lemon cucumbers. You see there are a bunch more coming on strong. Yeah. This seemed to be a good place for cucumbers. There's my regular cucumbers that I usually pickle. They're growing too. Not noticed until right now that there are green beans ready to be harvested. Enough to go in a stir fry. Maybe tomorrow. I don't pick them until I'm ready to use them. Thank you, Lord. I'm so excited to be trying some new plants. This is going to be a fun summer. Look at the Altheas over there. How beautiful they are. And they were freebies. I didn't pay for those.
Thank you, Lord. It's just gorgeous. It's going to be a beautiful garden this year. And even though it might not have looked like it, last year was actually pretty productive up until the drought hit and the 100 degree temperatures. We're going into the 90s this weekend, but they're not predicting 100 degree heat in the foreseeable future if you ever look at AccuWeather. So I'm most excited about this one, a white flower and the yellow one over there. So much of salvia falls under the heading of blues and Wendy's is a red one. So that's pretty common though, the blue and the red. But when you find yellow and whites, that's a little more uncommon.